So now what do you get to do? I get to be Find number two, Charlie Bear. <gasps> Find it. Where is it? Is it a long one? Yeah. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. You have to get those out, I think. I thought it was going to be like a stick. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Charlie. Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel and a day two of Vlogmas. I don't think I have completely woken up for the morning. I did not sleep very good last night, but I have just dropped the kids off at school and I'm sitting outside of Walmart right now. My like running around, I really need to do it after I drop the kids off at school because we are living just a little bit outside of town. Whereas our old house, we were so close to everything. So yeah, I try to get my errands done super early in the morning and then I head home for the day, which is definitely my plan. It's really nice out right now. 30 degrees is nice. <laughs> and then later today, it's supposed to be, we're in a winter weather advisory. So snow and wind. And so I wanna be home for that and not needing to go anywhere. So. Long story short, I'm going to run into Walmart. We have a basketball tournament this weekend and a gymnastics meet. So I just need to grab a few things for that and then a couple other random things that we just need around the house. The kids and I, my husband's out of town tonight. The kids and I are going to be watching The Grinch tonight. So I thought I might try to look for just a few little like Grinchy type snacks or treats that we can have along with some pizza tonight as we watch the movie. So I'm gonna head into Walmart, grab what I need, and then we're going to head home and just have a cozy day today. I actually prefer to come out to the stores early anyway because they're not so busy yet. Leave it to me to grab the squeaky cart that wants to go to the left every time. Cheers to Friday, my friends. But I'm back home now from my little run, which always, it takes a lot longer than I thought. I'm like, I'll be home by, you know, nine. It's 10 o'clock now. I ended up stopping at the post office for stamps. We got our Christmas cards yesterday and I thought, you know what? I wanna have those just ready to go for the day when I plan to just sit down and get to work on them. So I stopped for stamps. They're so cute. They're little elves. Holiday elves. I mean, they didn't have a ton of options this year like they usually do, but I think those will be cute for Christmas cards. And a little bit of a disclaimer, you're gonna hear cars and traffic going by. We're on a busy road. The big trucks that come by throughout the day is ridiculous. And that's part of the reason why I always have the TV on in the background playing something because it helps drown out the sound a little bit. But yeah, I thought I'd get used to it, but we're a month here now and I still, I mean, I feel like I hear every single car that drives by, but anyways. Let me share with you my little green Grinch haul from Walmart. I did get a few other things too that I can share with you, but I could have gone totally crazy, but I didn't want to go overboard. We're not like Grinch obsessed, but still I thought it'd be fun to do a little movie party, whatever you call those. Last year I shared a Christmas treat video. I will link it above if you want to go back and watch that. But one of the items I shared in that video were little Grinch kebabs with marshmallows, banana, and then you do these two. Uh, so I'll make those with you here today, but just a simple little treat and the kids really love fruit. So that's a win. Other green items I found, a last minute addition. I just threw in the green candy canes. If they don't eat them tonight, then we'll save those for a different day or for hot cocoa or something like that. But they were only a dollar. I'm like, yeah, let's get some green candy canes. I also, this was random, green jello. I'm, we'll just open it up, there's four, so perfect, one for each kiddo, and put it on their little food tray for the night. Also grab some green drink. We have little Grinch cups that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and we'll just have a green drink as well. And then this was the only like Grinch 
specific themed item I found. It's kisses. So I thought, you know, I'll put them in a little dish. They can each have one or two. And then I'll use the rest for the peanut butter blossom cookies that I make every single year. So grabbed a pack of the kisses and they're really cute with the little Grinch hats. And last, I was walking by and saw these cookies. I was actually really excited to find this because it was only like a couple dollars. Makes 20 cookies, which is perfect. It's the Walmart brand, so it's not Grinch, but you know, it is Grinch. It has little hearts with the green cookie. So I'm also going to make these today in preparation for our movie. So I'm going to take a minute, put all of this away, and just really do a tidy up of the house. We scramble every single morning to get out the door. And I just, I feel like in order for me to have a good day, I need a tidy space to work in. So going to just tidy up a little bit. I have some laundry left over from yesterday that I need to fold. And what else? Oh, I do want to share with you our advent calendars. I wasn't going to do them this year, but I just decided to do it. Just the kids look forward to them so much. And I feel like I found some good ones that really suit them that aren't just going to get thrown in a bucket and forgotten. Who knows? We'll see. But I don't know. So I'll share those two here once I get everything cleaned up. Advent calendar time. So I brought everything into our bedroom. It's a little bit quieter in here. I'm running the dishwasher. And let me just tell you, you cannot hear me when that thing is running. So anyways, this is Charlie's advent calendar. We, I added this onto a bark box last month, I think. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh. The kids get so excited to open this. So Andrew already claimed tomorrow is his day. So he wrote his name on there. But yeah, so just something fun for Charlie. The kids all love to do that with him each morning. My advent calendar is this little village one. I actually found this on the Target website. They don't have it in the stores. But each day you just add a little house to the color. And the circle ones are like trees. I think it's a snowman people. So at the end of it, it just looks like a really fun rainbow Christmas village. So again, the kids fight over that. So it's not really mine. It's more of a family advent this year. But so this is what it comes with, the circle board. And then inside, it's a little bit weird how they have it set up. It's not organized at all. You kind of have to search for the day that you need and I don't know they could have organized it a little bit better but it is really cute oh yep there's a little person little creepy person but there's a person lots of trees and yeah so I'll share as it grows what it all looks like and of course I'll link all of these down below I personally don't think it's too late for some of these advent calendars yet and it would also make a really good Christmas gift, I think. So this was the family advent, we'll call it. I think it's Threshold. Yeah, it's Threshold Village Advent. And then of course, I shared this book in my Christmas decor haul. This is from Amazon. And again, not too late. Also a great gift idea, but it is a family devotional to help you celebrate Jesus. And so, yeah, it's a really good book. A lot of you really like this and ordered it for yourself, but it's just a quick read each day to remember the reason for this season. So I read yesterday's need to do today's yet. So that, and then let's talk about the kids' advent. So I did something a little bit different this year. I saw that National Geographic had advent calendars and the twins, well, all the boys really love gemstones and rocks and all of that. They really love National Geographic. So decided to go that route. I ordered these from all over the place, just wherever the cheapest price was. But Amazon, Walmart, I think, were the two places. But each day they'll open a new gem. And it does come with a little pouch to collect all of them in, which is really nice. So this is Ethan's. He's doing gemstones. Andrew got the rock, mineral, and fossil. So very similar, but a little bit different items. Uh, it was kind of hard to decide who got what, but I think they're pretty happy with it. Macy got the Burt's Bees, which is only 12 days. So that was a little bit of an adjustment, but she's opening it every other day. She opened yesterday's, and then tomorrow she'll do another one. But these were selling at Sam's Club this year. 
So she loves Burt's Bees and she's growing up. She doesn't really need toys anymore. So I thought that was fun for her. And then Madden, he's really into fishing. Again, not really into the toys as much anymore. And I saw this at Walmart actually and it's perfect. I mean, he'll be doing all kinds of fishing once we move to the new house in the pond. So yeah, he opened yesterday's, so he left it in here. But I mean, they're pretty good baits and our store had a lot of these left. So it looks like this one was box three, so who knows? Maybe there's a couple of options out there for you. So those are the advents. I asked my husband if he wanted one and he was really indifferent. I didn't really see one that he would really enjoy. He doesn't like coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? It's starting to look a little bit hazy outside, like something's brewing or it's on its way here really soon. I actually need to run to our new house really quick. My trunk is full of light fixtures and faucets. I had a big delivery yesterday. So I actually need to run those out to my father-in-law storage unit. He is letting us use a good amount of space in there to store everything. So we stored a lot of like my wall decor and like breakables like all our kitchen dishes are at the storage unit as well as anything we're buying for the new house so i have a light fixture corner so i just need to stop by it's on the way to the new house and drop off a load before i think it gets too icky outside and i also want to check on the new house you know i have to do my daily my daily stop i try to go during lunchtime which for them they go around noon from what i have seen and so i can walk up and not uh get in the way and i just like to look around without having them working so i'm gonna go do that here really quick and then when i get back i'll eat lunch and we'll get to assembling and baking all of our grinch things for tonight oh i'm so excited i have never really done anything like this and like i said we're not big like grinch like fans or anything like that, but just something a little bit fun and who knows, it's probably gonna be a new tradition now. Can you see Charlie in there? <laughs> Hi Charlie! Just gonna drop these off, I wasn't lying, but this is our big fan for the living room instead of a like nice light fixture. I opted for a fan. So yeah, faucets, sconces, outdoor lighting, gonna load it into the storage unit. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my the work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear. I'm done with my Grinch prep for now. Once the kids are home from school, Macy, I think, will help me with my kebabs. Those have sliced bananas, so I can't do them too early, but we have some cups for our green drinks, our Grinch cookies, which I'm guessing they're going to eat once they get home from school. We have the kisses. They're pretty cute. And the green candy cane. So I still have the Jello, the green drink, 
Is that it? And the kebabs. It is starting to snow. It's not like a massive amount or anything, but it's definitely beginning. And it is blowing out there. And I kind of want to go outside just for a little bit to walk the beach. I have not done that since we moved here. The kids have, my husband has, but I haven't really been out there looking around just to, I don't know, enjoy the scenery. And I feel like I need to do it before we get massive amounts of snow. So I might bring Charlie outside and we'll take a little walk before it gets too bad. Here's our house from the back. It looks prettier at night when you can see the trees a little bit better. What do you think, Charlie Bear? Huh? It's snowing. Should I break out in song? Ice is crazy though. Sitting outside of school waiting for the kids. I can take this off because I'll need to get out to actually go get them, but which is why I'm all bundled up. Roads aren't too bad, but it's just one of those days where I'm like ready to be at home and just not have to leave for the rest of the day because we're so busy running every single night that just to be at home will be nice. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to put my pajamas on like by 4, 4.30. I'm gonna be in my robe already. That's one of the nice things about being in the middle of nowhere is that there's no one going to be coming to our door like the neighbor kids wanting to play which is kind of sad but at the same time I can put my pajamas on so there's one benefit there so I'm probably gonna do that but before we go home we actually need to stop to pick up Ethan's new frames for his glasses we had an unfortunate accident it would have been last weekend I think it was Saturday night after it was we were done doing showers I'm not sure they were a little bit crazy but it was totally an accident but he snapped is it gonna focus? There we go, it snapped the plastic in half. No way to repair it. They tried to tape it at the office just to get by, but the lens popped right back out when Ethan put them on and there's no way it would have made it through school. So we're gonna stop and pick up the frames. Luckily, so they just got them in August. It would have been right before school started. Luckily, they're still under warranty, so we didn't know it at the time, but that saves us a lot buying the new frames because we do still have the lenses so they just need to switch out the lenses and he will be good as new I'm also going to have them adjust Andrews because he's crazy too and they're all bent out of sorts and he just needs an adjustment so we're gonna do that before we head home I'm in my pajamas, I didn't lie, but it is almost five o'clock now, so I'm okay. And of course, chose the green ones. They are. Oh, good one. job, Ethan, that's a good one. You wanna do another one? Sure. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Good job, Ethan. 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 Good job, we hope for another Grinchmas. We have pizza in the oven. Charlie's wondering what's going on. But I think we're all set up for the movie. This has been so fun. I mean, it's fairly simple compared to the ones I've seen, but this is more than enough for us. And the kids got a little bit crazy on the kebabs, but they're supposed to be little Santa or like Grinch with the Santa hat on, okay, yeah. you can kind of see it. Yeah. 